welcome back. Today we are in this new series called God's Warnings in the Bible. We're going to learn about covetousness, lying, pride, and forgetting God. Alright, so now we're going to jump into our first Hi, God bless everyone. Today we are going to talk about beware of pride. And we have a Bible verse and it says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And that is in Proverbs 16, 18. I'm going to repeat that again. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. So what is pride? So have you ever had a friend that has done something really, really serious to you and then he's come back and said, I'm sorry, but you said, I don't want to forgive you. I don't want you around. You're not my friend. And you know that your friend really means the apology, but you do not want anything to do with this friend. So you push this friend away. That, what you're feeling, okay, is a little bit of pride in your heart. You're feeling that you do not need to forgive somebody because they don't deserve it. Also, when you look at somebody that might be a little dirty sometimes and you feel, ugh, get away from me person, okay? And you feel that you're a little bird better than that person, that is also pride, okay? So we're going to talk about pride today and why is pride so dangerous for our human heart, okay? But we're going to look first at the Bible and we're going to go into our Bible story. And the Bible story is found in uh, Luke 18, verses nine to 14. Okay, Luke 18, verses 9 to 14. And it says, To some who were confident of their own righteous and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but he beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you, this man, rather than the other, went home, justified before God, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So in this lesson, we have Jesus and Jesus is surrounded by a crowd. And though there were a lot of people around him that thought themselves better than anyone else. So Jesus brings a parable, okay? So a parable is like an example of something that happens. And he talks about two men. One, okay, was a Pharisee and the other one, the tax collector. The Pharisee walks in and he starts talking about everything that he has accomplished. He says, oh, I thank you, Lord, that I am not like everyone else. I thank you, Lord, that I am better pretty much than anybody else, that I do my taxes, I pay my taxes, I pay my tithes, I do everything right. But the tax collector came in and he said, he wouldn't even look before heaven. He was just bow his head and he said, God, have mercy on me. Okay, so one, had the position of pride. He was talking about how great he was and everything that he can do better than anybody else. But the other one was humble before God. The prideful man was really relying on his own strength. He was not relying on God. He was not relying on Jesus. Okay, he didn't recognize himself as a forgiven sinner. But the tax collector realized that everything he had and everything he could ever accomplish was because of God and because of God's love for him. So one, okay, even though they were both looking for God, one was pretty much being pushed away from God because the Bible says that God rejects the prideful. But the other one was being drawn close to God because the Bible says that God draws near to the humble. challenge so this is your junior challenge all right so i want you to look at these three verses proverbs 16 18 james 4 6 and psalm 10 4 proverbs 16 18 
James 4, 6, and Psalm 10, 4. And I want you to sit there with your Bible. I want you to read them. And I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to show you why pride is very detrimental for you. And I want you then to sit there for a minute. I don't want you to rush. Sit there for a minute and examine your heart. If you don't know whether you have pride or not, okay, I told you before that we all do. There is a little uh, test of pride versus humility, okay, and, and we're, there's a little link for that. You're going to go in there, take a piece of paper if you don't have a printer, number them, read the verse, and read the example. And after that is done, answer it, and then score yourself. If you see that there's pride in your heart, okay, that pride unchecked, okay, can lead you into other things, pushing you away from that. So I want you to then look at your heart and go before God and say, God, I need help. Can you help me with, you know, this area or that area, whatever area of pride that you see that you have, okay, give it all to God. God is not afraid of your pride and he will help you through it all, okay, and ask him to show you how to be humble and throughout the week. I want you to continue practicing how to be humble, how to help mommy in the kitchen maybe, okay? Help daddy with taking out the garbage maybe. Anything that may, you may seem, that may seem unfair to you, I want you to try and do the opposite and present to God, okay? God bless you.